This is the Olympus SH50, and it's quite a different camera for Olympus. It's new one, it's own range. Now, it's got a 24 times optical zoom, which is pretty big, and actually it's rather light, which is quite surprising. It's also got a 16 megapixel sensor, and the lens starts from a wide angle of 25 mil, so you should be able to fit quite a lot into a landscape or lots of people in a close-up shot. Now, you've got quite a lot of modes to choose from on the top of this camera here, so I'm in the eye auto mode now, and this is when I can use Live Guide to kind of change the colour of the shots I'm taking. So if I use the touch screen and select Live Guide, I can go into here, and change the colour saturation or make it look a bit warmer by sliding the slider or sliding it down to make it look cooler. There's a few other options in terms of what you can do with colour. You've also got an option on here to pull still images from video. There's also a pre-capture mode as well, so if you select this setting you can choose to start capturing shots sort of three seconds before you press the shutter release, so it will just keep capturing those shots so you don't miss the action. It's also got a manual mode on here as well. Now it has hybrid five axis image stabilization. So in still photography, you've got pitch, roll, and yaw. And if you're shooting video, then it'll also stabilize on, on the X and Y axis too. It's expected to be available sometime later this year. We don't know for sure yet. Uh, Price-wise, looking at about £200. So that's the Olympus SH50, but if you want to find out more about other cameras that have been announced here at CES, just click on the links below.